So where to even start? So Donald Trump has been president for just over a month and he's already fulfilled his campaign promise to basically make life as difficult as possible for as many people as possible, but especially people who are already in marginalized communities. So people of color, Muslims, immigrants, and most recently trans kids. So you probably heard by now, this week, Trump revoked the guidelines that Obama had put in place that protected trans students in schools. More specifically, it gave trans students the right to live as their full selves and to be affirmed in their gender identities. It was about correct bathroom use and locker room use. It was about having their names used that were correct and their correct pronouns affirmed by their teachers. All things that really matter in the day-to-day -day well-being for a trans kid. Uh, and, and they're gone now. So if a trans student lives in a city or a state or even goes to a school where their rights as a trans person are protected, then they're okay. But students from more conservative areas where there aren't local protections, they're out of luck. And it's on all of us to fix that. Trans rights are about so much more than going to the right bathroom. Like, yes, that's a part of it, but think about what Laverne Cox said just the other day. If you can't use a public bathroom, you can't go to school, you can't go to work, you can't be out in public. This is about more than bathrooms. This is about policing and oppressing trans people's rights to exist and to take up space in public and to be visible. And that's fucked up. So, uh, so it's time. Cis folks especially, it's time for us to get angry. For those of us who are queer but not trans, like yes, we've experienced some of the marginalization that comes along with sharing an identity that others don't understand, but we're never gonna get what it's like to be a trans person, to, to, to be harassed in a public bathroom, or to be terrified that you're gonna be attacked because you don't look like what, you know, what somebody thinks is the person who belongs in there. That's not an experience I'm ever going to, to know, uh, and that's a privilege. And that's a privilege that I and that other cis people have to use to fight for our trans family and friends. It's not ever somebody's job to defend their right to exist to somebody else. It is not the responsibility of a group to defend their humanity to somebody who belittles them and who seeks to harm them. It is not their job to defend their right to exist. It is ours. So, where do we go from here? I don't want to take up too much space here because I'm cisgender and a cis person can't tell you how trans people want to be treated. That's not how it works. So instead, I'm going to say, now is the time to uplift trans voices, trans stories, read essays and articles and books by trans people. I'm going to link to a bunch below, especially by trans writers about this particular issue. And just hold tight to the trans people in your life. Ask them how you can be there for them and what they need from you. Call your elected officials and tell them how you feel about this. There's a website called fivecalls.org that I just pulled up here. You probably won't be able to see it, but there it is. It actually gives you scripts and phone numbers for calling your elected officials about issues that matter to you. So demand protections for transgender students is actually number two um, on the list that's here today. So this is a super easy way. If you have phone anxiety like I do, this can help you out, give you a script. You don't even really have to think about it. And like I said, be a voice of support for the trans people in your life and the trans people not in your life who also deserve respect and justice. If you have that transphobic uncle who used a slur to talk about Chaz Bono once or your sister, you know, made some comment about somebody who goes to school with you, now is the time. When we let those things slide in our day-to-day -day lives, we're reinforcing and passively endorsing that kind of behavior. If you don't step in to stop it, you're basically saying you're okay with it. This is of course in as much as you can do so safely, especially if you're trans yourself. But if you are cis and you're pretty confident that you're gonna be protected and safe, then it's on you right now. It's on me right now to protect trans kids with everything we have. Uh, we're not in good shape right now, politically, socially, many of us mentally, I know I'm not, and we have to do something about it. So let this be a rallying cry. Trans viewers, especially those of you still in school, my heart is with you. I support you with everything I have. Uh, you're perfect and valid and wonderful exactly as you are. You have my full support and the support of millions and millions of other people in this country who are fighting for you. 
like I said, there's tons of links in the description uh, for further reading and for actions that you can take around this. I don't know what else to say. I, I don't know what else to say. I'm just, I'm heartbroken. That's all. So, okay. I love all of you very, very much. I'll see you soon.